Chapman, and it's a privilege to be your host today. Settle in and get ready to hear some of the greatest trading minds in the, in the trading industry. With an upcoming presidential election, the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict, high interest rates and inflation that remain stubbornly high, the second half of 2024 promises to create some great trading opportunities, as you will see with our presenters today. On our panel today, we have handpicked the industry's top stock and options trading experts to join us today. They have agreed to share their most consistent and profitable trading strategies with us in a free online educational forum. Today's show is packed with great information and discounted special offers, so let's get started. Our first guest, you may have seen her on Fox News, Fox Business Network, RT America, Cheddar TV, or CBS News. She is an expert stock market analyst and the founder and owner of an international educational company where she teaches people how to successfully trade the stock market. Her trading methodology is based on one strategy called Golden Gaps with pinpoints, institutional money in the stock market. Here to present trade on the side of power money is the great Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Melissa. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thanks for having me, everyone. Good to be here in this beautiful Thursday morning going into the last day of a week before a holiday week. Can everybody hear me? Sound good? You sound um, good on this end. Terrific. If people have questions as we go along this morning, I w you just feel free to ask me and I will answer them as we go. I will try to watch my time. I think I have 45 minutes. Anyways, uh, happy July 4th, everyone. It's July 4th next week, and so it's been some good trading here this week, considering it is going into a holiday week. Um, even I'm surprised how good of setups we've had, particularly um, in gaps this week which is what I do, which is what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about trading momentum and gaps. One of the big trades we had this week was Tesla. Um, and if you trade, I'm sure you saw what it did in the last 24 hours. I do have the one of those trades in here today. But again, if you have questions, you can feel free to reach out. You can always email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. I do appear on every major news network talking about the stock market and the economy. We had some data this morning, which was negative, And of course, the market rallied. That's all the market wants to do, it seems, is rally on bad economic data, which is kind of ironic that the market's cheering on bad news. So we'll see what that means uh, for the next six months of 2024. But again, if you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype, or call me at 929-3200-GAP. So this is a good time halfway through the year to take stop and stock of where you are and try to decide, are you ready to move into the second part of 2024 and be successful? What, what, wherever your ears at right now, if you're doing well, you want to continue to do well. You need to stay focused. If you are not doing well and you want to do better, then you have to do something different to make that happen for yourself. You know, everyone wants to trade the market. It's fun. It's great to trade from home and all of that, but you need to make money. If you're not making money, then there's no point in doing it. And very often I find people blame themselves if they're not making money. They say it's, it's this thing, it's that thing, it's whatever. At the end of the day, if you don't have a good strategy, it's going to be hard for you to be successful no matter what you do. You can have the greatest risk management in the world, take profits, size yourself right, but if you don't have a consistent winning strategy, you're not going to do well in the market. So I plopped in here uh, all the trades. This is through the 18th. I didn't put in the last couple of days. I have to add those, but we're at 492,047 for the trading room year to date. Again, by tomorrow, I'll add the rest of this month uh, for where we are for the first six months of the year. My trains in the room are day trades on margin. So therefore, I trade on margin. You have to have a margin account to do them. I do not do options trades in my room. Now, I do do options trades. This is a newsletter. It's a newsletter service. If you want to sign up and join, these are separate. These trades get emailed to you. You do not need a margin account in order to do options. You can open up a cash account and do options. And I risk more of my options. So I'm doing very well for the year on options too. 1.468290. This doesn't include the last week either. Um, doesn't include the Tesla, which I have the trade in here, which I'm going to talk about today. But I risk more in options because I want to take more size because I want to get the overnight moves. And I also want to um, 
go through and look at what I'm doing in reference to some of the things that are a little bit pricey. Now, NVIDIA was one of the pricier things that we did. Now, the stock split, so we're not doing that at the same price point, but I wanted to be able to do more expensive options. You could do one contract, though. You could open up an options account with $2,000, which is a lot less than you need to actually trade on margin, by the way. So year to date, well, this is not including even the end of June here. Again, today's June 27th. July 1st is Monday. It's crazy. I can't even believe it. 1960777 and I will I will update this and I will put this on my YouTube. We've had a good year, okay? I'm very focused on what I do. I'm going to talk about it today. Everything that I do is based on my own system that I created and that's the meat and potatoes because you need a quality system in order to make money. You've got to get good results. When I started trading, I was looking online and there's so many trading educational places out there. You're going to hear some of them today. There's many, many strategies out there that people look about, talk about. Some things are free. You can even find online. Much of the stuff that I looked at when I was trying to figure out how to trade, which is, God, 16 years ago now, hard to believe, 20, 2018, uh, when I started trading, much of it is really almost kind of the same, just repackaged to look very different, but it's not different. And I was very astute to be able to determine that myself. And then I just realized that I needed to do something different. I needed to do something unique. And I set out on my own path to create my own system, which is based on stocks gapping. Now, I do bullish gaps and bearish gaps. Tesla was a bullish gap. There was a big trade we did this week. But I do do bearish gaps as well. I didn't have time to put this in here. We did WBA. You can look at it up this morning. We shorted it. It was a gap down. We shorted it. We made money. Okay. So I took three years out of my life to develop my own system, which is very unique. And we're going to talk about that a briefly today, a little bit today. But here was the Tesla trade. This was the big option winner this week. I actually did the 185 calls and the 190 calls in Tesla. And we were in those, these trades before it ripped up yesterday. And it's still higher even now, actually. But I got out of this yesterday. So last Friday, I sent out the 185 calls that expired tomorrow which you could still be in, but I'm out of. It cost 325. Again, an advanced trader risk of 25 contracts. Risk was 81.25. Sold at 11.50. Profit was 20,625, which was 254 percent. I thought this was a good exit yesterday. I knew it could po possibly be higher today or tomorrow, but when you're running it with options into the expiration date, or closer and closer and closer you get. You got to take profits. This was huge profits. And then I want to show a beginner risk too. If you risk $1,300 for contracts, you could have taken one. You could have risked $325 and still made 254%. And again, this is probably worth more today. This is probably over 13 or something today here for the value. But the whole idea of everything I do is based on what? Is based on the stock gapping. So let's take a look at it. So the day I called the train, just want to show you here, the day I sent out the newsletter, the stock gapped. Stock close here gapped up. Okay, this was last Friday the 21st. Rallied, boom, and then it took off like a rocket yesterday. Again, when you're trading, you have to get momentum in order to make money. I don't care if you're long or short. So the momentum in Tesla came in yesterday, and then it had a big fat green bar. And again, when you're buying calls, what are you doing? You're going long. So we were ready in it. And again, we did the 190s too. We were ready in those as well. But this was a nice, nice, nice move up here in the Tesla. And again, we do the weekly options. So I'm doing the weekly. So this isn't one, two, three, four, four days in something. That's not a big deal to me. That's not a long time. Again, this isn't swing trading. We're doing active, chunk it out. Take the trade, get in, get out. Buy the call, sell it. Buy the put, sell it. Again, we're playing momentum. Now, what is a gap? Again, we're going to go over this. A gap is the difference between the close and the open. So the U.S. stock market closes every day at 4 o'clock. So Tesla closed here. This was Thursday last week. And then on Friday, it opened here, up, higher than where it closed. So this was a gap up. There are also gap downs. What's a gap down? Let's take a look at it. Here was a gap down in Tesla. Stock closed here, gap down, open, fell. So at 4 o'clock, it closed at one price and opened at a lower price at 930. The U.S. stock market always has an open and a close, and again, is closed on a weekend. So my strategy is great because you're always going to get stuff to look at, sometimes bullish gaps, sometimes bearish gaps. I prefer shorts. And many of the day trades like I have in there in the stats for the room are shorts. Like I said, we shorted WBA this morning because I prefer to short because stocks sell off faster than they rally. And when you think about it, it makes total sense. And when you think about the idea of 
being able to find something that has a big move with momentum, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And again, you have to use your brain when you're trading. You know, so many people just want to plop on indicators that their that their charting package will just, you know, put on their charts and figure, well, I will be able to just do that and then boom. But the reality is that's not really what you want, okay? You want to be able to see something and do it, okay? And then also be able to have it make sense for yourself. It has to be something where you're thinking it through, not just the moving averages. Okay, let's look at this. Here's another one. Oracle. So this was, what day was this? The 12th. Stock closed here, gapped up. Okay, stock closed here, 124, gapped up, 134, rallied, then what? Well, it, it again, it was a call. Or you went long it, okay? Again, stock closed here approximately 124, opened up here 134, okay? So again, what do you wanna do with this? You gotta figure it out. So I developed my whole system was to look at a gap in the morning in the pre-market before the market even opens at 9.30, try to figure it out. Again, think it through, use your brain, and I developed a system to rate the gap. The system is based off of points on the daily chart. This is what I teach in my class. So again, what I do is extremely unique. Why? Because I take a lot of time and care in the morning when I'm trying to figure out what to trade. And I also know what I want to trade ahead of time before, before the market opens. And that's very unique too. Because again, most people are trying to make up their mind at the very last minute or waiting until the market opens or waiting until 10 o'clock or 10.30 or later. And again, waiting for the market to figure out what it wants to do in the day. But I think through what I'm doing. And what I do that's unique is not only be able to figure it out, the momentum and having the big move, but also to have it all pre-planned out ahead of time in the morning. 26 things is a lot to look at on a daily chart, but that's what gives me the consistency in the picks so that I have more winners and losers. I showed the stats earlier. Again, I lose in some trades but I have more winners than losers. And that's the only way that you're gonna make it when you're trading. And then of course you have to have some big winners, which we did in the Tesla. And like I said, I stacked it even with the, with the strikes with the 185 and then the 190s. And any questions here? Uh, I'm just looking here to see if anybody has any questions, let me know. Anyways, how do you make money in the market? Become an expert in one thing and you can do it. And then you add size. And then you add size, and as you add size, then you can take more shares, you can grow your account, you can make more money. If a stock drops and you short it, if it drops a dollar, you have a thousand shares, you make a thousand dollars. If it drops a dollar and you have two thousand shares, you make two thousand dollars. So again, it's the same trade, you just add more size. But the bottom line is that you need a method. That's how you're gonna be successful. You need a well-defined method. Without a well-defined method to replicate daily, how will you have consistent results? Even people that don't know what they're doing can make money in a trade sometimes with dumb luck. Uh, and, and that's true, okay? That, it's funny because it never was the case with me. I, when I made money, I always was applying my skill set. I guess I was forced to do that, to figure it out. It was my destiny. Otherwise, I wouldn't have figured out what I know right now. Uh, but for most people, again, people can make money even though they don't understand why it happened or what it did. But not all the time. It's the consistency that matters. You need a method you can replicate that works consistency because that's the only way you're going to be able to do this, whether it's part-time, full-time for a career. The point of trading is to make money. Otherwise, why do it, you know? And I, when I decided I wanted to trade, I wanted a new career. I was doing mortgages and I wanted to switch careers and change careers. And so I, I needed to make money in order to support myself. So that's why I was so, so intense about figuring out the best pick to try to find it. If I could figure out 126 points, I would, that I would never get it wrong. It's, it's, it's basically trying to hone it down to the best, best thing. But anyways, I'm looking for a specific set of requirements daily and 26 points. The points are the daily chart. If I get a 20-point rating or more, then it qualifies for me to do the trade. If I don't, I don't get it. Simple, okay? So think about it. If, you, if you're taking a trade, you want more than 50-50 odds, 
Okay, you want high odds. You have to get consistent results to be successful. That's the big thing that many traders lack. They're all over the place doing this thing, that thing, the other thing. My background when I went to college, I'm a philosophy major. I have a BA in philosophy, and I, I, I'm a critical thinker. If, you, you know, if you've ever studied philosophy, that I was taught and learned and read a lot and wrote many papers as a philosophy major to be a critical thinker, to look at things, to analyze things. That actually really helped me develop my own system. Strange as that may sound because this is finance and money related and numbers with trading, but my phys my philosophy major, my background in thinking things through and analyzing things helped me to create the system I use. It's it's a conditional hypothetical proposition every morning when I get up and I look at something. If this, then that. Same thing with WBA. Same thing with Tesla that we just talked about. Like I get up and I say, if this is doing this, then this is going to happen. If this is here at the price point, then the stock's going to drop. If it's here, then it's going to rally. And that's how I was able to develop my whole system then and do the whole 26-point system. It's the, the point of it is trying to determine who's in control. Because if you can determine who's in control, you're going to make money. If you're on the wrong side of the control, you're going to lose money, okay? So if you say, well, the bulls are in control, then you want to go long. If the bears are in control, then you want to short. Again, the problem is a lot of people can't figure out who's really in control because stocks rally and fall every day. That, you know, just because something falls and it rallies or whatever, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to follow through, okay? And the follow through is a key, key, key piece of it because, again, you want to make money. So, again, let's take a look here at Oracle. Stock close here, gapped up, rallied, continued, went up over 140, went up over 145. We did calls in this. We did a day trade. So who's in control of Oracle? The bulls. The bulls. Okay. Who's in control of Disney? This was one we did a while ago, back in early May. This was Disney. This was an earnings gap. Again, stock closed here the night before, gap down. I rated it per the 26-point system, and it said, wait a minute, it's going to fall. And that's what I determined. So we did puts, and we shorted it. And again, who is it controlling Disney? I said, the bears. The bears are in control. And I was right. Stock opened here around 107, boop, boop, boom, fell all the way down, broke 100. See it? So again, when you're looking at something and you're trying to determine it, the control part of it is such, such a big piece. But I'm figuring that out by seeing the gap. Like, I don't, I can't predict what's going to gap. I don't know, like, again, the banks have earnings out in two weeks after the July 4th holiday. I don't know if they're going to gap up. I don't know if they're going to gap down. I wait for the gap to occur, see it, and then apply my 26-point method, which, I, like I said, is very unique because I'm taking the time, I'm processing, I'm thinking it through, I'm using my brain. But it's the focus of the gap itself that helps me determine it. So again, let's talk about some basics here. What is a gap? What is a gap? A stock gaps on the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Simple, okay? So here was the Tesla gap, um, closed here, gapped up, and then that's where we did the calls, and then you saw where it went up and pushed up yesterday. And again, I think today was even higher. I don't know where it's at right now. How did I know that would happen? I rated it. I rated it using my checklist. It's a 26-point checklist. This is my strategy. This is it. This is what you come and learn from me, and then you apply the method yourself every day. How? You're going to rate the gap too. You're going to go through it, go through the points, rate it. And then that helps you to hone it down to decide what you really, really want to do. Um, this was back 624. Actually, let's look here. 624 was here. Oh, that was this day. Closed here, gapped up. 624. Was that Monday? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was just Monday. So funny. We went long Tesla. So stock close here, gapped up. We enter the stock long, 185.80. This is a day trade. You would have had to have a margin account to do it. With 2,000 shares, risk was 3,800. We got the rally, pushed up, got out at 187.40. Profit was 3,200. So again, this is a day trade. I showed you earlier the option we did. This was a day trade. This is a trade you'd have a margin. Now, the difference is the day trades go super duper fast, super duper quick. So we're in and out in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and that's it. You're done. Now, if you took 500 shares, risk $950, a beginner risk, you could have made $800. Again, 
$800 in 5, 10, 15 minutes. This is good money, people. If you times that by five, as many days in a week as there are for you to train, that's good money. You know, most people are losing. They're not even making $500 a day. On average, $500 a day is $2,500 a week. Most people are not doing that. $1,000 a day is $5,000 a week. And again, most people are not doing that. So you don't have to risk what I'm risking, which is an advanced trader risk to make money. You have to learn it. And you can if you have the money in your account, if you have a bigger account, but it's the idea of doing it. And you can open up a prop account with $5,000 and get 10 to 1 leverage and trade prop if you want to do it, you know, if you want to do the day trades. But the reason I like day trades is they're fast. The reason I like options is because we can get the bigger moves overnight, like I showed you with the Tesla, which we got that big rally up, you know, yesterday. Any questions here so far? How are we doing? Let me say. I was going to say something else and I forgot. Okay. Anyways, the rating system helps me determine who is in control because that's what matters. Okay. How do I determine who's in control? I use the 26 point checklist. This is my plan. This is my plan of action. Success requires a plan. Otherwise, you're shooting darts at a board and you're not going to get anywhere with that. So how do I know where stock's going to go in the day? I use the rating system and I figure it out before the open. That is so beneficial to be able to get in trades with good prices early out of the gate. This was one we did that was a short ACAM. Stock closed here, gap down, open, fell. Again, stock closed up here around 101 and change, gap down here around 92 or something, fell, dropped, boom. This was a beautiful move. That was back in May, May 10th. But I knew I was going to do this before. But sometimes I know at 6 o'clock in the morning what I'm going to do. You know, that early. And it's like I said, it's if this, then that. I weigh the pros and cons. Every time I take a trade, I weigh the pros and cons. I want to be convinced that it's going to work. You must put the odds in your favor. I don't think enough people do that with their trading. That's why they tend to lose. They dig themselves into a hole. And then when people dig themselves into the hole, they're even more desperate to get out of the hole. They start doubling down and doing all kinds of things that they shouldn't do. That's when you should take a step back. Like if you're down money in the year trading six months into the year, halfway through, this is when you should take a step back and stop doing what you're doing if you're not making money and it's not working. You need to reevaluate. And there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. You can't say, well, I've been doing this. I have to do it. I did this class. I invested in the class. People invest in classes. They don't work. They lose money taking trades, and they just dig themselves deeper and deeper. There's no shame in actually pulling yourself back and reconfiguring yourself and say, wait a minute, I'm going to change what I'm doing. This isn't working. There's no blame or shame on you. That's life. People go through the process. People have to go through their process. That's part of it. Um, someone is... Uh, if your system fell in the 20 to the 26 points, would I play a gap fill? No. No, I would not. I would not. Gap fills in general do not work as a method to train to make money consistently. And you can write that down in blood. Sometimes something does what you could say is a gap fill. Sometimes. If you're playing that all the time, you are definitely losing. Now, yes, I may rate a gap and it may not rate good, may rate 15 or 16 points or whatever. And then I, like WBA, WBA today rated good. But if I, if it didn't, if it hadn't, if it rated 15 points, would I have gone long it? That's what the one person is asking me. The answer is no, I would not have gone long it. And again, even if it would have rallied on the day, which it didn't, I still wouldn't have looked back and say, oh, I should have gone long it. And, and, and I'm going to explain why. And I don't want to get too off tangent here because I know I only have a, a certain, a certain uh, amount of time to talk today. But the reasoning is my mind is so programmed to see something. Your brain is a computer. It's, a, it's the most amazing thing that you have. And, and people don't use it enough. Like my, my brain just sees something and I just do it and I just trade so again, that's one of the reasons why being a room member with me is very beneficial because my brain works extremely fast and I'm so used to seeing things and I do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So again, I've been trading nothing but gaps for 16 years. 
So this, it's like imprinted in my brain that I know right away is when I see something and we do it. I'm talking about the setup on the day. I still go through the rating system in the morning, but I can look at something and say, I know this is good. I still rate it. I still go through and rate it. But my brain is programmed now to see things that I know are going to work. If you start to mess with that, then you're going to be totally screwed up. And you're not going to get that thing that I have, which is called intuition or sixth sense. It's intuition. It's a sixth sense that I have because I don't do anything else. And I'm, I'm an expert in this. So again, when you, when that's, this is another point. It's a good point. I, again, I don't want to get too off kilter here, but people never really get that sixth sense or gain that sixth sense of intuition trading because they're trying to do too many things. They're trying to do too many strategies with stocks. They're trying to do futures, day trades, Bitcoin options, whatever. Like they never become an expert in everything. They never get an intuition or a sixth sense in anything. If I could spray in a bottle and sell it as a perfume or clone my sixth sense and my intuition, you know, I, I could make billions and billions of dollars. But the fact is, it's me and it's experience. You can gain that too, but not if you're all over the place. And again, that is something that I realized very early on. Very early on, it's, I'm also an expert in shorting because we mostly short. But because I'm so good at shorting, I can see something like Tessa. And I could say, this is going to pop. So we were in it last week, actually. Like I said, I, I called that trade on Friday, but it's intuition. That is not something that I can give you. That is something that you will do with experience. The 26 points are on the daily chart. They're based on technical analysis. The intuition part is something that's an overlay that you get by trading with me in the room every day. And <laughs> I think traders miss out on that because they're too all over the place looking for this golden nugget and one thing that they're going to take a trade and make a million dollars and you know open up an account with five hundred dollars make a hundred grand in 30 days that's totally unrealistic and that's not going to happen and again traders want to pay like a thousand dollars for a class and learn some amazing system that's not realistic either so again you have to be all in what we, what you want is out there i mean i'm offering it to people someone that's experienced someone that has a good system i charge for it and i charge good money for it so it's like what you want is out there it's just you have to decide if, if you're going to go for it so many people have been hit over the head i think learning things of losing money in the market for years they start to lose conviction in themselves and they start to lose conviction in the market and they start to lose conviction even in, in trading uh, educational systems because they question then everything. <laughs> Is this going to work? Is this not going to work? And blah, blah, blah. It's not impossible to make money in the market. I think everybody that trades knows that or they wouldn't be wasting their time or money. But once people are around the block doing multiple classes and multiple strategies and losing money in the market year over year, they do tend to go into that negative mindset. And again, you're only hurting yourself doing that too. So, you know, you have to know it's a competitive environment. You have to accept that and be aware of it. And you also have to know that there are strategies out there that work. But you also have to kind of come to the conclusion that there is more that don't work than do. And that's why more people lose money in the market than ever will make money. And people also have these things where, like I said, they jump around a lot. So they never gain that sixth sense. It's a sixth sense that I have that tells me that if I start, you know, mucking up what I'm doing flip-flopping, going long, going short, the same stock, the same day, twisting everything around into a ball, then I, then I lose that whole thing. I lose that whole thing that helps me trade, that helps my clients make money, it helps me make money, and helps me just hammer on top of something like that and get it right out of the gate and then whop on the size or stay on top of something, stay on top of something, stay on top of something, or even do a strikeout like we did the 190s. That was far away that strike that we did. I don't have that trade in here, but that was far away when we did that trade. Um, somebody asked a question. When you purchase a call or a put option contract on a limit or market order, it appears on your platform, you start out losing money in the red. What are you missing? I don't know what you're talking about, about losing money in the red. I, I think that, uh, you know, sometimes we put in, we put in orders and it's like, almost like someone's might be front running or something. I don't want to say that, but uh, you ever put in an order and like instantly it's like, well, that's not, you well, know, you should be just, putting it, I don't want to get, I don't yeah. want to get, I think it, you put it in order between the bid and the ask. It, if, if it pops up like that, this, it could like, I'm just making this up. If you're buying a call, say for example, and you want to buy a call, 
you're putting it, you're not going to get the cheapest price of that call ever. So as soon as you're in, yeah, it could be, it, it could look like it's negative, even if it's by pennies, because you bought it between the bid and the ask, unless it's running straight up like a hot rocket. Uh, and, and again, I'm using example as a long because because you're buying between the bid and the ask. You're you're never gonna if the bid is if it's if it's three by three twenty, and I'm just making this up. You're you're not gonna go long and get filled at three. I mean, unless it's whipping up like a banshee, which actually you know kind of Tesla did yesterday. But you're gonna get filled between three ten and three twenty. And so as soon as you're in, it may look like you're down, but you're really not. I consider I don't consider that down. I consider that flat. Because you're basically there's always a bid ask, and and again, spreadier stocks will have spreadier spreadier uh, uh, margins too in between. But no, I don't consider that down. Now, if you're talking about if it's moving and the stock drops back, you buy it at nine thirty, nine thirty one, nine thirty two, and then it falls all the way down to nine forty five. And again, this is if you're going long, and it and it was between three three and three twenty, and it drops all the way down to two fifty. And then that doesn't mean that the trade is off. That doesn't mean that it's bad. It means you got in early, you were aggressive, and your expectation is for it to run up. I'm not doing options where I'm trying to make 25 cents unless I'm doing a bank option that only costs me 25 cents or 50 cents. I'm doing things if it costs $2, $3, 4 I'm trying to make $2, $3, 4 So I'm not scalping. I am trying to make dollars. So whether or not, if I don't consider what you're saying. If you're down a couple pennies, I don't consider that down. So there was two examples there, which you could have been down where you're talking about where you first got in. Either one is it doesn't matter to me. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, yeah, that was, that was George. And uh, yeah, I think you answered that. I think it's a very common thing. You put in an order and like it moved a penny or something in the other direction or something. Like that. Yeah, that's not front running. And you could say with the market makers, blah, 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 blah. We wouldn't have a market without the market makers. And yeah, they're making money and you need to know that. But it's not like they can screw around with the stocks that I'm trading. I'm trading Boeing. I'm trading Apple. I'm trading NVIDIA. I'm trading Tesla. We're not trading rinky dinkers that don't have any volume that that could even be possible. There's laws and rules that people have to follow. If the momentum's going to come in and the stock's going to get bought and so institutional money is going to buy Tesla, it doesn't matter what they want to put that spread out or what they want to do. If that stock's going to rip up 10 points, then get the hell in it and be in it because you want to be in it before it goes. Otherwise, instead of paying 320, you're going to pay five or six. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah, trade the SPY daily. George is saying he trades the SPY daily because the SPY is in a good gap every day. Many times the SPY gaps up and falls. Many times the SPY gaps down and rallies. The SPY is not tradable every day. And again, that's one of the reasons I don't I don't trade futures. There's not a good gap every day in the market. You can't do that. You're not going to be consistent enough. And you're going to be going against the trend and bucking the trend a lot when you're doing that as well, too. But good questions. Um, OK, let's look at Boeing. Stock close here, gap down, open, fell. Again, what is a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open, here and here. So we had another gap there, another gap there. This was back in March. Um, this was another day trade we did. I'm going to just quickly go through this in here. I oh, know this was June, June 618. Where is this gap? 618. Oh, here. Here was that day. But a little baby one there. Uh, we shorted it 176.49. Boom. Got out, made 39.50, and the exit was 175.70. Again, I'm trying to make a dollar. So this is close enough. 80 cents a dollar, whatever. We got in, we shorted it, got the drop. That was on June 18th. God, that was two weeks ago. Anyways, you can day trade options. You could do gaps. You can day trade well on margin. You can do whatever you want. This is another one we did Oracle. We did a calls on this. We did the 140s. This is a nice trade. Big trade again. We had to wait a couple days for it to go. You could have got out the first day, but I wanted the extension on it. It ran up to 145, got over it. It was 150%. Great trade. Again, you could have risked $1,000, made $1,500. This is a nice trade. Again, some of these things, because we're going into the holiday, have been taking a little bit longer than I thought. Even Tessa for four days. But they're going. They're going. They're moving. I'm just going to quickly go through this here because I don't want to run out of time. But there's a lot of reasons why people trade. Some people are just doing it on this side. You can still lose money if you're not focused. So I don't care if you want to do it an hour a week or an hour a day or, you know, 20 hours a week, you're going to lose money if you don't know what you're doing. So you got to get serious about it, even if it's something you're doing part time. And again, the focus for me is the strategy, which is gaps. And if you don't have a strategy, that's number one, get a strategy. And number two is you got to get a strategy that consistently wins. 
you got to have more winners than losers. The reason I do gaps, like I said, is because gaps have large moves. They have big moves. They have momentum. Uh, we were looking at this in the market. Again, the market's been running up this year. Will it continue? Nobody knows. You know, we had this w big discussion in the room this morning because, again, the data this morning was not good. But for right now, everything I do, whether it's WBA, Tesla, I'm always looking for big, big money or what I call power money in the market. That's what moves stocks. That's what moves the market. That's what moves everything that we do. Again, they could dump it, sell it off, in which case you'd want to short it or they can buy it like Tesla. Tesla is being bought. But the whole thought process of what I do, really, a lot of it has to do with common sense, but it also has to do with using your brain. And like I was saying at the earlier, the beginning of the lecture, I think people get away from using their brain thinking they can buy automated systems or stick on moving averages or any other kind of indicator and it's going to tell them what to do. Those things should be supplemental. Those should not be things you live or die on. Because if there was any set of indicators that would tell you what to do 100% or even more than 50% to win, no one would ever lose trading. It would be very easy. And you wouldn't have to learn a class or learn anything at all. It's not the only thing. It's something that you can use as a supplement. It should not be helping you make your trade decisions where you're doing it or you're not doing it based on that. I think many people, like I said, just gamble. They really are taking trades where they don't even know why they're taking them. They can sort of explain why, well, it's sitting on the moving average, so I'm going to go long. But at the end of the day, that's not enough. It's just not enough. And things are tricky. The market's volatile. And I expect this to continue probably into the remainder of 2024. So if you want to learn my system, it's called the Golden Gap System. It's a 26-point checklist that tells you what direction to trade the stock on the day. It tells you what direction to take it if you want to do it again under 20 you're not supposed to do it the rule is 20 or more to do it and again like i showed you with that one tesla trade the benefit of trading gaps is it can be done very quickly for me it's about working smarter not harder i live in new york city and i live along central park and i love living here i can go out this afternoon and enjoy the park it's summer I don't want to sit at a desk all day till four o'clock. I don't want to do that. You know, and I'm at a certain point in my life where, again, I'd rather make as much money as I possibly can as fast as I can in the first half an hour, hour of the day. And I don't know why anybody else wouldn't want to do that, to be honest with you. But at this point in my life, I'm just like, I don't want to sit and work and try to squeeze 25 more cents out of something for an and wait another five hours. That's ridiculous to me. You take it, you get in, you get out, you're done right out of the gate in the morning. And if you're in an option and you put the option on, you can come back and check it at lunch. You can put the sell order in. It's a limit order to fill you if it hits or you check it before the close or you check it tomorrow. You know, you don't have to sit and, you know, lean on your keyboard if you're doing options either. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, it's it's institutional money, big money that comes in to the market and it's moving stocks. It's moving the market at all times. The point of a checklist is to help you stay true to yourself, what you're doing instead of going all crazy in your head, true to the system, focusing on it, chunking it out, taking profits, getting prepared ahead of time. As early as you can, get up early, do the prep work. Then you can make money and it's about honing it down to get that best pick. If I'm doing that very early and I have all that situated and organized, I can be done quick and soon. And again, it's about getting it for having more wins. Otherwise, you're floundering after 930 trying to figure it out. So the quality of my system is really the value and the information, which is trying to figure out what's going to go, what's going to have the big move, how do I do it, how do I find the momentum, I find it in the gaps, I find it when I get one that rates quick, I don't, or rates over 20, I don't flip it like someone said to me earlier, and again, they have big moves. So that's part of the benefit also of trading with me, we trade stocks that have big moves. WBA had a big move today. That was a, That is a cheap stock that had a very large move today to the downside for that price point. You know, I consider that a big move, we had a good trade in that. But again, it's momentum trading. What creates a momentum in a gap? It's institutional money. That's what we're following. That's what we're doing. Big footprints that come into the market, big professional traders, hedge funds, we're following that. And again, that's one of the reasons why all that stuff that's happening with interest rates and the economic data does impact the market. I mean, you got to watch what's going on too. Now, can you do this if you're a beginner? Yes. I teach everything from nuts to bolts to the class, charts, everything. You would open up your own trading account. You can wait to do that after the class. This was another one that we did. We did the BA puts, uh, 613, oh, here. We shorted BA here. 
Got the drop. Boom. We did the 180s. Uh, this is another nice trade. 180%. We did it on the 13th, and I got out of it the 20th. And again, this is cheap. To, to be able to buy a BA put at $2.50, I thought that was cheap. You could have spent $1,000 and made 180%, which is a good trade. So I do calls and puts like I told you, but I'm mostly short in the room, but I'm always looking for this very specific thing, which definitely gives me an edge because I'm taking the time to analyze it and rate it and go through it. And one of the things that I like about shorting is, again, you can get the moves quick and fast. Fear and panic come in quickly to a stock. Again, pull up the chart. I don't have it in here of WBA today. Great example of a good gap and fear and panic that come into a stock. So if my system is something that you're interested in, you can email me and ask me questions. But if you're looking for something that has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, Big moves on the day. Early confirmation, we're doing the trades early and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. This is what you're going to learn from me. So you will learn in my class the 26 points. You will learn the entries. You will learn the exits. And again, you will be able to mimic the trades that I'm doing if you join the room. Uh, someone's asking a question. But it's the same 26 point system for company stock during earnings reports. It's it doesn't matter. It's you see the gap and you rate it. So there's no I don't change a system depending on what's happening, why the gap is occurring, if that's what you're asking. A gap's gonna happen for many reasons. Could be earnings, could be negative news, could be with the market, could be with the sector, could be like BA this year has been getting pummeled because of the accidents and news uh, reports and things like that. Doesn't matter the reasons, I'm not changing the system based on that no you learn it you apply it you do it so my class is called the golden gap course i teach it once a month it teaches the strategy and how to trade gaps the course teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day the course also teaches you how to play the stock on the day and the course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level this is a good quote because it's from warren buffett about investing in yourself and again if you're doing something and you're trading now and you're losing or it's not working then you have to, you, you may say, well, I already paid for such and such class. Well, you're going to have to invest more in yourself then. You, you're worth it. You know, you're worth it. You have to look at your life and your future as you're worth it. If this is something that you really, really, really want to do, you have to look at it like you're worth it. And you have to love what you do. You're going to do it for hours and hours every day, whatever your job is, your career, and you're going to do it for a long time. And it's going to be a big part of your life. If you don't love what you do for a career and you want to become a trader, it's worth the time, it's worth the investment, no matter how many classes you have to take, no matter what it costs, if this is something you want to do, you are worth the investment. And if you're doing a job that you don't like, which I was when I was doing mortgages, towards the end, I hated it, couldn't stand it. And I was working 80 hours a week, more. I was probably making $1.50 an hour <coughs> by the time I left. it was I couldn't stand what I was doing anymore. I said, I have to do something different with my life. And it didn't matter what it took. I was willing to do anything to make that happen. And it took me three years, three years to develop the system that I'm teaching right now. But again, you also have to get value out of your education. You're gonna learn the points from me and you empower yourself to do it because you can do it yourself. So you learn a whole system uh, in the Golden Gap course. It's a full two day course on how to strategically find, pick and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps, classes online. The next class is great timing here, right when earnings season starts. July 13th and 14th, the class of the class is $69.99 US dollars, classes online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. The cost for the combo, which you get the trends in the Golden Gap, you save $500, is $7,999, classes online. Now I'm doing a huge, huge package for July 4th, so the timing is good if you're interested. If you want to sign up, this is big. You will get the Golden Gap course, the trends course, the options course, the wealth manifestation course, here's all the dates, and you will get the trading room free through the end of 2025, all of my trades for the rest of this year and next, the options newsletter, and the market report through the end of 2025. You wouldn't have to stay, if you wanted to pay for the room and stay in the room and get the options, you wouldn't be paying anything until 2026. So this is really big. People have already signed up. This is huge. Again, I'm offering this through July 4th. This ends on July 4th. Uh, let me see if there's any other questions. I think I got George's questions, Reynolds questions, anybody else? Any other questions? If you're interested in this, you must email me for sign-up forms at melissaatthestockswish.com. Any other questions from anyone? How are we doing? I, good. Are you able to hear my audio? Now I can hear you. 
Okay, great. I switched over. I'm able to see your slides now. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. That's okay. I was having some technical I issues, you. audience, I so I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for having me, and happy July 4th. Happy July 4th. Again, here's my email, melissa at thestockswish.com. If you're interested, email me in the class. If you want to sign up for the July 4th special, you can go to my YouTube at the Stock Swish on YouTube. I have tons of videos there. And I have tons of videos of Central Park, actually. Tons of great videos of Central Park, actually, that I've been posting on my YouTube, which people love. Excellent, excellent stuff. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Melissa. Um, always great when you're here. Uh, I wanna thank you for making such a generous offer to our audience today. It's always great to have you on Trader's Corner. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mrs. Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh, an expert at trading gaps, as you can see here. Uh, if you are interested in learning a rules-based strategy that has the potential to garner fast profits, trading just 30 minutes a day, then you can find Melissa. Special offer in our chat box. Uh, Melissa, yeah, you put it there, so we're, we're all good. Um, that's great. And, and uh, yeah. So you can find Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks again, Melissa, for joining us today. We hope to have you back on Trader's Corner. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.